Good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. I think we are going on five days straight that it has snowed at least a little bit every day. The yard's looking pretty snowy. The sky's looking like more snow clouds are coming. I don't know, can you guys tell that those are snow clouds and not regular clouds? Because I can. <laughs> There's a frozen apple at your feet there, Shelby. There's a frozen apple. A frozen apple. Uh, Oakley is inside napping still. She didn't want to wake up. I'm like, all right, I'll let you out in a little bit. But good, wonderful, beautiful morning. I'm actually on my way to run to the peel box, to the pet store, and I want to take you guys to see the beginning stages of our ice tree and talk a little bit about the ice tree. So let's go do that. Okay, so the title of this video, you guys are probably wondering. For those of you that have been around for a while, you've actually seen this in our videos before. For those of you that are new, you may have never seen one of these in your life before. But I don't think we've ever actually done a good explanation of what an ice tree is or how an ice tree is formed. Um, I'm going to show you guys. Our ice tree is man-made. And uh, I'm just going to walk over there and kind of explain what it is and how it's formed. What you're seeing right now is probably two weeks into the ice tree being formed. So I wanted to come over here and kind of show you guys what it looks like now because I'm sure by the end of the season it will be a lot bigger. So let's go look at the ice tree. So this is the beginning stages of the Alpina ice tree. Now. I don't know if you guys can hear it because of the road noise, but if you look up there, see at the very top how there's water coming out of it? As I said, this is a man-made tree. So basically, underneath all this, there's a metal structure. If you look underneath there, you can see it. And then in the middle of that metal structure, they kind of put up like a little tree, kind of like a Christmas tree type of tree, which you can actually see right now because it is not fully frozen. But you can see what it does is it creates these big icicles and things and gives the ice something to hang on to and something to form to along with the metal ice, with the metal structure underneath. On this side you can actually see the structure better. You can also hear the water dripping a little bit more. So yeah, this is the beginning of the tree. I think it's been about two weeks since they put it up. Again, it is right on the main road in Alpena. That's US 23 goes right through Alpena. So it's right on the main road, so everybody that drives by can see the awesome ice tree of Alpena. But this is it, guys. This is the beginning of the ice tree. This is solid ice right here from the water coming and dripping down. Oh, I'm getting splashed by water on this side. It's a little bit windy. So there's a hose that runs up the middle of the structure, and it has warm water that comes out of it so that the water can continuously come out of it and not freeze. So the water comes out of the top of it, and then eventually it freezes as it comes down and it starts to form all these cool icicles and then it grows bigger and wider. That's as tall as it gets. But over time, see where the bottom structure is starting to get wide? It will continue to get wider up towards the top as well. So that is the Alpena ice tree. That hopefully answers a lot of you guys' questions about what it is, how it's formed. Why do we have it? Well, because it's cool. It is actually, that's one of our uh, water treatment plants, and it's actually put on and sponsored by uh, United Water and Worth Electric every year. They put it on, there's little lights around it, so it's lit up at night. There's a sign for it, the Alpena Michigan Ice Tree. So that's the ice tree, guys. That's what it is. It's really cool. I love driving by it and seeing it. There's a, a lot of cities up here actually do this. There's one in Gaylord that I believe we've shown on video before. Gaylord's tree is bigger they have a bigger structure base that they start with but it's not as tall our tree's taller so yeah and then behind you you can see there's like huron which of course is not frozen yet so there now you know a little bit more about the alpina ice tree hide the what what are you hiding <gasps> what, what are you hiding right you mean the Taco Bell? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that list so I can get everything out? Uh, it got moved apparently. It was right here, but apparently somebody put it away because it literally was right here. Probably the. And I, somebody moved it. Wasn't me. So Greg's here, and uh, by the time you guys see this, the video will already be up. We are preparing to make hot chocolate cookies Ooh. for cooking with the snow dogs. Yeah, we do need those two things. That's the only ones I remember. Um, <laughs> 
So yeah, sure. that's what we're doing. Yeah. We're getting prepared to make some cookies for that channel. The dogs are coming in here to hang out and there's no brown sugar in them. I don't know where the recipe thing went. Somebody moved it. Somebody. I better put this down and find it. Was it you? Yeah, so we kind of didn't know what we were going to make this week for cooking with the snow dogs. And my mom and dad have this really cool recipe that we've made a bunch of times. And we've actually modified it a little bit. Well, they did. So I called my mom and I'm like, hey, can we share your recipe? And she said yes. So we're actually making cookies that my mom and dad have made for years um, with a new twist that they started putting into them not that long ago, actually. So we're making hot chocolate cookies. So if you guys want to know what they are, how to make them, and all that fun stuff, I will put links up in the cards and down in the video description below. So you can go over to the new channel and make sure to subscribe while you're there if you haven't done so yet. What are you doing? I can hear you in there. What are you doing, huh? Yeah? We're going to make cookies. Is that okay with you? That's okay with you, right? <laughs> ah! Are you ready to go outside? You want to wake up your sister? Want to go outside? Wake her up. <laughs> Shelby's like, I just woke up. And now you want me to wake her up? She's sound asleep. Oh, it's sound asleep with her ball. Oh, she's dreaming. Her little ears were twitching. She's dreaming. Maybe, maybe we should let her sleep. What do you think? Let her sleep? Yeah. Okay, let's go outside. Come on. You don't have to wake her up. We can just go outside. We can go. We, you don't have to. We can just do yeah, She's all right. We'll just go outside. She can stay sleeping. That's okay. You really want me to wake her up? All right. I will wake her up for you. <laughs> this is supposed to be your job, Shelby. All right, let's see. Move her ball out of the way. That might be enough to wake her up. Oh, her little ears are going. Hey, honey. Hi, how's it going? I got your ball. It's right here. It's right here. Hi, how's it going? Would you like to go outside? That That's what I thought. <laughs> hey, Shelby wants you to go outside. Yeah, there you go. Shelby wants you to go outside with her. You want to come outside with her? Are you happy now I woke her up? Yeah? Are you happy? Come on, let's go outside. <laughs> You're such a brat. She's coming. She's coming. Slowly but surely, she's coming. Our cookies turned out amazing. Again, if you guys want to see how we made them, head on over to youtube.com slash snowdogscooking and uh, find out how to make yourself some hot chocolate cookies. I tell you what, it's like 7 degrees outside. They definitely help warm you up. And with that, we are calling it a night. It's cold outside, isn't it? I tried to tell you that, but you guys wanted to go out there. It's cold out there. You know how you can tell? Perfect husky curl. <laughs> uh, all right, you guys. If you are new to this channel and you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, and share it with your friends to help us grow the audience. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive, dream big, and we'll see you again soon. Good night, audience. You look so cute, Oakley. Okay.